So much of the content from this video we've covered in past videos. I'm just going to make sure we cover it again quickly. Um, so this dot point says students will analyze information from secondary sources to describe changes in the shapes of the eye's lens when focusing on near and far objects. So if objects are nearby or further away, right, so near or far, what's happening to the shape of the lens, but also what's happening to other parts. So we're going to talk about the shape of the lens, but also suspender ligaments and ciliary muscles. Right, so we've covered this kind of in a, in a couple of past videos already. Uh, first, quickly, I'm going to go over what these different parts are. So remember the actual lens was this part here, which is the flexible part that focuses light onto the retina. Then attached to the lens are your suspender ligaments. These are these ligaments here. These ligaments will make sure it can flatten or uh, make it round depending on what it needs to happen. But what are, controls these ligaments are the ciliary muscles, which are these muscles here. Right? So the muscles become contracted. That means that the lens will become round. But the reason why is because these suspender ligaments won't are quite loose when the muscles are contracted. Whereas when, it relax, when it's relaxed, then these suspender ligaments will be going to be quite tight and they're going to pull the lens quite tight as well. We're going to cover that more in detail in a second. So again, where, the, where are all these structures in the eye? They're going to be right here. So the lens, the ligaments right there, can't seem clearly. And then we've got the suspender ligaments, and then we've got the ciliary muscles right there. And then in front of it, obviously, cornea, cornea, aqueous humor, vitreous humor, and etc. etc. But we're going to focus just on this part for this actual dot point. Uh, so what's happening if things are far away or near? So if things are far away, that means this object will be emitting light from all different directions, right? It's going to come into your eye from all different directions. Whereas if it's something is far away, then whilst the actual object still emits light from all different directions, only the light that reaches your eye from this object is more or less parallel. Right? So it's just these ones are coming towards your eye. The other ones we can more or less neglect. So we say that for far objects, light is often parallel, which means straight. So it's all everything's coming straight at you right there. Whereas for near, it's going to be more sort of crazy in its actual. So it's not just from not just straight, but coming from all sides. And that means we need to do different things in terms of the actual structure of the lens. So when it comes to the lens for this, we want to make sure the lens is actually going to have enough power. So high refractive power. Refractive power is the ability to be able to bend light. So high refractive power for when things are close by. The reason why is because it needs to bend a lot, right? So it needs to hit here. And this needs to bend a lot to make sure it can meet. Because they're coming from all angles. So this lens has to bend things quite a bit to make sure it can still hit the back of the eye. Whereas if something is coming from far away, because they're all parallel, the bend has to be less. So it needs to have less refractive power as well. So lower refractive power because of it being all parallel, right? So they're parallel, a slight bend will be enough to make sure that they hit the actual back of the eye in things which are coming from a parallel light. So this would be shape of the lens that makes has high refractive power. Remember that was round. And shape of the lens that had low refractive power that was flat. So first of all, it's near vision. Right, so near vision, we said that the, the shape of the lens was round. And then for far vision, the shape of the lens was flat. That's the first thing you should know. But you also need to know the other structures involved. So ciliary muscles and suspender ligaments. So remember, we want to have it round or flat, but we need to have a process to actually get it there. And the process was the ciliary muscle either contracting or relaxing. So if you actually have a near vision, you're going to have the ciliary muscles, which are these ones here. You can see this bulge here. It's like a bicep bulge. This is the contracted muscle. So it's contracted. And what that means is that these ligaments, which are the gray ones, are suspender ligaments, are going to be relaxed. So it means they're not going to be pulling on the actual lens. So you're going to, the lens is going to have more of a round shape. So for near vision, we're going to have a contracted muscle. And that's going to give us loose suspender ligaments. And all this results in a round lens. Right? Whereas for far vision, 
we're going to have relaxed muscles, right? So our muscles, our ciliary muscles, it's going to be relaxed. But because it's relaxed, you can see it's further away from the lens, but now it's pulling. So now these actual spinner ligaments are being pulled. They have, they have, they're being stretched, right? So you can say that I stretched or tout because the actual muscle is relaxed and that changes the actual shape of the, of the lens. So if the suspender ligaments are being stretched then the lens is also being stretched. Remember we said the lens was flexible which means we can change the shape of it. So in this case we have relaxed serrated muscles and that will give us a stretched or tout stretched or tout spinner ligaments and that will result in a flat lens because the ligaments are making the actual lens flat by stretching it as well. So that's what you need to know for the top point. You just need to know the different structures and how they look like when we've got near vision. So if an object is close by compared to when an object is far away. So for near vision we've got our ciliary muscles contracting which means the actual spinner ligaments are going to be loose and that means that the shape of the lens is going to be round because it's going to be less pressure on the, on the lens. Whereas if it's far, we're going to have our ciliary muscles, which are these ones, going to be relaxed. That means there's going to be more pressure on the suspender ligaments. They're going to be stretched. And the stretched in the actual suspender ligaments are going to attach to the lens and thereby also causing the lens to have pressure and then become more flat. So it's basically pulling it apart almost, which is making it flatter. So that's what you should know about this top point, just more or less this table and kind of have an idea of what's happening here. But that's basically it. Hope that was useful.